السلام علیکم ڈیئر فرینڈس آئی ایم ساجد علی ان لاسٹ لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ سر سید احمد خان ان دس لیکچر وی اسٹڈی لیجسلیٹو کنٹرول آف برٹش سو ڈیئر فرینڈس وی آلسو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ ہاؤ برٹش کیم ٹو انڈیا اینڈ وائی دے کیم ٹو انڈیا ایٹ فسٹ دے کیم ٹو انڈیا فار دا ٹریڈ اینڈ کامرس بٹ slowly and gradually they occupied the territories and uh, regions of subcontinent India and uh, they started ruling over India indeed Mughal Empire and uh, the last Mughal Emperor was Bahadur Shah Zafar who was sent to exile to Rangon At first when they occupied some territories, some areas, uh, East India Company made those areas the presidencies. Presidencies means uh, a presidency was an uh, administrative hub of East India Company and uh, there were three presidencies of British East India Company Bombay Bengal and Madras so dear friends <coughs> when East India Company ruled or subcontinent it started enforced some laws policies or the people first of all regulating act it was enforced in 1773 according to regulating act british east india company appointed governor general so the first governor general was warren hastings he was governor general from 1773 to 1786 pits india act according to pits india act which was passed by british east india company and it was uh, made by british parliament both bodies two bodies were uh, were formed court of directors board of control they were two bodies two groups of people they assisted uh, to make laws legislations of british east india company so dear friends india act at 1800 according to this act east india company started making forming courts judiciary in madras bombay and calcutta three courts were established according to india act 18 charter act 1833 according to the charter act <coughs> 33 british indirectly ruled started ruling over india when war of independence took place in 1857 so british east india company was ended was finished and all territories which were under the british east india company were given to the crown were given to the british so after the 1857 war of independence british directly ruled over subcontinent in this way <coughs> after 15, 1857 war of independence british uh, formed its own act acts and laws 
गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट 1858 अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडिया एक्ट 1858 गवर्नर जनरल वाज गिवन एन अदर नेम एन अदर टाइटल वाइस रॉय एंड नाउ द गवर्नर जनरल वाज अंडर क्राउन बट बिफोर दिस एक्ट द गवर्नर जनरल्स वर अंडर द ब्रिटिश ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी वाज इंडेड एंड ऑल इट्स रीजन्स टेरिटरीज वर गिवन टू ब्रिटिश क्राउन सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट इज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू अकॉर्डिंग टू पिट्स इंडिया एक्ट टू बॉडीज वर फॉर्म्ड कोर्ट ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स एंड बोर्ड ऑफ कंट्रोल सो वेन इंडिया एक्ट एटीन फिफ्टी एट वॉज फॉर्म्ड दीज टू बॉडीज वर इंडेड एंड ए सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट वॉज अपॉइंटेड अंडर हिम फिफ्टीन मेम्बर काउंसिल वॉज ऑल्सो फॉर्म्ड टू असिस्ट सेक्रेटरी ऑफ स्टेट फॉर इंडिया सो डियर फ्रेंड्स इंडियन काउंसिल एक्ट एटीन सिक्सटी वन when war of independence was fought between indians and british east india company so britishers uh, ruled themselves only and they uh, formed they made laws themselves but there was no any indian in legislation in assembly of british after that british government in india realized the absence of indians in the assembly in the executive council of governor general that's why they realized this is uh, necessary to be uh, presence of indians in the executive council of governor general so that in 1861 indian councils act british government in india uh, nominated indians <coughs> so dear friends at first council of governor general what what was the council of governor general five members were in council of governor general this is called executive executive council executive council of governor general three members of this council were to be appointed by governor general himself and two of them rest two of them members were appointed by secretary of state for india and one in five members one should be barrister and one should be commander in chief of army so dear friends this is a council of governor general or executive council of governor general additional members what were additional members as i told you indians now uh, came to legislative assemblies executive councils these are indians those indians who were in executive councils those are called additional members there were additional members 6 to 
बट दे हैड नो पावर टू आस्क क्वेश्चन टू प्रेजेंट रेजोल्यूशन और सप्लीमेंट्री क्वेश्चन एंड सो ऑन दे दे जस्ट कुड सेट इन असम्बली एंड जस्ट सी हाउ ब्रिटिशर्स मेक लॉज रूल्स रेगुलेशन फॉर इंडिया दे हैड नो एनी काइंड ऑफ पावर ऑल एडिशनल मेम्बर्स वर नॉमिनेटेड बाय गवर्नर जनरल हिमसेल्फ अकॉर्डिंग टू एटीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी वन इंडियन काउंसिल्स एक्ट गवर्नर जनरल वॉज आल्सो गिवन अ पावर टू इंट्रोड्यूस ऑर्डिनेंसेस सो डियर फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वे वी डिस्कस लेजिसलेटिव कंट्रोल ऑफ ब्रिटिश इन इंडिया इंशाल्लाह वी विल डिस्कस इन माय नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ पाकिस्तान स्टडीज़ थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर अल्लाह हाफिज़